What is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another ECMAScript 6 tutorial in which we're going to discuss about what is tail call optimization which is a new thing with the JavaScript. It exists in some languages, not all, but uh, with ES6 it is actually coming to JavaScript as well. So what tail call optimization is, is pretty much like uh, if you are calling a function and then returning another function from that function and pretty much that is the only thing that you are returning then JavaScript can optimize that code so that it does not take its own stack space so it sounds horrible I know but uh, you would just be able to visualize it with uh, something like this stack diagram so let's just say this is our function which is function one and i'm not really familiar with uh the drawing tools here so let's just <laughs> try to draw let's just name it f1 right this is function one which calls another function which is f2 right so traditionally what would happen is that f1 would have its own stack space and then f1 calls another function f2 which would be placed on the top of it right just like we do in stacks now the thing is that uh, if you have a function something like this let's just say we have a uh, function a and uh, only if i can make it a little bigger so that it's visible right so we have this function and let's just say we do some sort of logic here and finally what we do is return a function b right and then there's a function b which does some other sort of logic other sort of logic so if you take a moment then what happens is that in your stack if we kind of just place a debugger here and call a right so what happens is that when you call this function a it gets its own stack space like this is f1 right then you do all sort of things and then you finally get to this line return b right here then what happens is that when javascript sees that traditionally what javascript would do is keep f1 in stack and open f2 on stack right f2 uh, probably there we are okay so what tail call optimization pretty much does is that it tries to determine if this b function needs uh, anything from function a or it can independently execute so by that what I mean is that uh, is it really necessary to keep f1 on the stack while f2 is executing because if we are just returning this function b which does some logic and returns a value let's just say 42 then there's no need to keep f1 on the stack for that particular time because that is pretty much once we are done with function a till here just above this return line then we do not do not need function a to be kept on stack right we can just throw it off from the stack and uh, save some space so what tail call optimization again what it does is that it pretty much determines that do we really need this function um, this function a to actually be on the stack or not so let's just first of all take a look at how we can actually make use of this now one thing right now is that tail call optimization isn't fully implemented right now in almost every browser so if we go to like ES6 uh, um, support and there's a link right here this one you would see that uh, Tail call optimization is one of those things which is not really implemented in almost any of the browser except Safari right here Safari 10 supports it 
Safari 10.1 supports it and Chrome also supports it with I guess with the experimental flag on uh, yeah with the flag on but Safari supports it out of the box right now as well it, this the one I'm running right now is um, Safari 10.1 I guess and it supports that so we're gonna take a look at some tail call optimizations right now so let's just build a real quick function in both in Chrome and Safari as well so we could actually see the difference so I'm just gonna navigate to about blank so that we are not bothered by the uh, calls blank right there and we are inside console and if I can zoom this one as well okay so now let's just write a very simple function which recursively calls itself again and again and again and again so we want to actually crash down the stack right so I would try to crash down the stack in both Chrome and uh, Safari so let's just take a look and again one more thing that uh, tail call optimization right now works in use strict mode so you have to use use strict but since we are using Chrome it does not matter because it does not support it right now out of the box so this is our function let's just name it X and uh, let's just say it accepts a number argument and we're gonna say if number is equal to zero which is which would be our base case we're gonna just say uh, let's just say console log um, stack is probably not dead if you are seeing this I guess we have a problem there seeing this right otherwise what I want is return x num minus one now here's the thing you need to be careful about in this return statement you can obviously call this function again does not matter but you should not use any kind of local variable within that function so for example I have like let i is equal to 5 if I do something like this then it is not eligible for tail call optimization and the reason for that is that now JavaScript cannot destroy this f1 stack because it holds a reference to this i which we would apparently need when the whole stack when the whole recursive chain returns right so for tail call optimization it is necessary that uh, the function which you are returning does not contain i mean does not use any local variable with within it right so obviously you can use something like i here doesn't matter because it gets passed along with the calling function but do not make use of anything like this or even if you are making use of try to form a logic where you do not need to do that all right so now this function would uh, call itself recursively as many times we pass in num right here okay so let's just take a look let's just say I write one here so we get stack is probably not dead if you're seeing this obviously one call Chrome can support I guess 10 as well 100 calls as well so this is a size of uh, what happens right here when we call X of 100 is that there are 100 stacks made up and then the final one returns us console log stack is probably not dead if you are seeing this and then every stack then sheds down so obviously we are actually returning undefined here if we are just console logging this so it doesn't matter so essentially we are just returning undefined right so if we switch this down to thousand again it works but what about ten thousand you can see that we get maximum call stack size exceeded. So we now know that Chrome's stack handler can support functions somewhere between 1000 and 10,000. Well, that's quite a good limit, but uh, if you are kind of building an application which does a lot of mathematical work and you are using all sort of recursive functions and all that stuff, this might be a problem for you, right? So okay so this is our traditional JavaScript with no tail call optimization 
which is actually eligible for tail call optimization, right? So let's just try to implement the same thing, the same code in Safari 10.1, which is tail call optimization ready. So we have the same function right here. I hit enter, right? And now if I write, let's just start with 10, we get a correct message with 100 as well with 1000 as well with 10,000 as well because this is tail call optimized. You can see that we can write any number of messages here. It would just increase the delay obviously because it has to um, do, I don't know, once 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million, 100 million, uh, billion, <laughs> 1 billion operations. So obviously it would take a little bit of time, but it would not throw a stack size exceeded error because this is running in O1 space, O1 space, because it does not take a billion stack sizes as it is eligible for tail call optimization, right? Because we are just returning the function and uh, nothing like local variable used right here with this. And this could be actually any function right this could be some other function as well it does not need to be recursive for tail call optimization right and again a billion calls i guess is too much for safari to handle in uh, a few seconds so we might get a little bit of delayed here but we would surely get stack is probably not dead if you're seeing this if we stick long enough i'm not sure how much time it would take but uh, we should probably get that so yeah, that is pretty much it about uh, tail call optimization, I guess. And uh, you won't really need to use actively make use of this thing if you are just a web developer um, and uh, not really into a lot of recursive and all that stuff. But uh, um, it's always great to know about such things, new features which ES6 brings to us and uh, yeah i think it's kind of cool because uh, now this finally gets us um makes us eligible to write buggy code with recursive recursion so our stack still does not overflows and you can see that we get stack is probably not dead if you're seeing this so javascript evaluated kind of a billion stack calls in O1 space and returned us with stack is probably not dead. So yeah, that's all pretty much for this tutorial. And if you liked it, then please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to support, there's a Patreon link in the description. You can check that out, that will really help. So that's all for this one. And I'll see you then in some other tutorial.